Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use some function using calculated field in Looker or Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have total items sold over here. But if I go and show you my data then I have only quantity sold over here. So in this table based on each and every category we have shown the total number of items sold and this can be achieved using the sum function similarly in this graph you can see that we have quantity sold and unit price for each and every category we have the total number of quantity sold items and for each category we have the total unit price that has been earned from that category so this graph is also based on the sum of quantity and the sum of unit price so most often what happens is that we basically want to create a summation of a particular category and then we have to use the sum function. But think of a scenario where you basically create a field which contains or have the sum of all the values based on your categories and you can simply use that field in your graph chart or in your table then it will be much more easier for you instead of using that sum function multiple times within a table for a single metric. So in this video we are going to apply or use the sum function as a calculated field in our charts or table from scratch so that you can get awareness that when, where and how we can apply the sum function using the calculated field. And before we use this function let's understand the sum function first. So sum is an aggregation function in Looker and it returns the sum of all values of a particular field. So as you can see over here I had given the syntax. In this syntax you can see that first we have to give the function which is sum and then we have to give the numeric field. So this is the numeric field for which the looker will basically calculate the summation. So let's go and click on edit so that we can see how we can use calculated field with the sum function in looker. So the first thing that I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to remove this total item sold in this table and similarly in this graph I'm going to remove this quantity sold and or let's take the record count over here sum of record count now in order to create a calculated field with a sum function what we need to do is that we need to come over here in our data section and we have an option over here which says add a field if you click on add a field then looker will allow you to create a calculated field and the first option within this calculated field is the field name you have to give a field name so i'm going to give sold item or let's keep total sold item and then we have to give a formula over here so in our formula we have to give the formula syntax which is sum or formula keyword which is sum as soon as you write sum you will see that the intelligence of looker will show you all the functions related to sum so we have this only one function which is sum so we'll select that and then within this parenthesis we have to give the numeric field so for us the numeric field will be quantity sold so i'm going to select quantity sold then as soon as you put the field over here you will see that we have this green circle which shows formula is valid and if there is an error then you will see that it will show us that you have an error over here which says syntax error okay so I'm going to remove this comma and now we'll wait for looker to validate this formula. Once looker validate this formula then you can go ahead and click on save and looker will save this calculated field and then you can click on finish. Now as soon as you click on finish you can see that you have a new field over here which says total items sold. Now if I want this column to be appearing in my table then I can simply select this table and I can go and click on add a metric and select this total item sold and you will see that in your table you have this column total item sold which we have created just now similarly we can use this field in our graph also so we'll take this total sold item and we'll keep it into the matrix so now as we have successfully applied and used the sum function using calculated field you might have a question in your mind that how does this sum function works so this sum function will take all the values of the numeric field and based on the grouping of your data in your table or in your visualization visits it will 
basically add those values at a group level. So while using this sum function in Lookert, you have to note that this sum function cannot be used with an aggregated field or the result of an aggregation function. So this is how basically you can use sum function in calculated field in Looker or Data Studio. Happy learning and see you in the next video.